there, it's Lori Convey with Annual Canada and today we're talking about our annual helpers. Um, our helpers are meant just to just help our fibers. They're also produced with a neutral carbon footprint, all in Austria, so that they have control over the way that they're made and the way that they affect our earth when they are biodegradable down. They're plant-based and um, really amazing. So let's start with a couple things. So. Um, I'm going to start over here with our two soaps. There's two bottles here because we have two sizes. We have a thousand milliliters and we have 300 milliliters. So our orange blossom washing up liquid is what I use when I'm hand washing my dishes. It's how I fine tune my fibers to give them a really deep fiber tune up. And I use it as a pre-treat for my laundry as well. You can use it straight. Um, when you actually open the lid, you'll see that there's a little tiny um, a stopper in here that will dispense it in drops so you won't dump the whole thing out just don't squish it too hard right <laughs> so um, it's great to use it straight or diluted in a soap foamer as well our laundry liquid is what I use in my machine high efficiency front load top load doesn't matter um, and less is more with Enyo so our our uh, solutions our laundry liquid is dosed by teaspoon by milliliter so we do either half a teaspoon up to two teaspoons you can put it right in your soap dispenser or you can pop a pump on this and you can pump a few pumps right into your clothes uh, before they're washed if you've got stains pre-treat with your orange blossom washing up liquid and then pop it in your laundry with your laundry liquid and those are our soaps the next thing I want to talk about is calcium dissolver and let's do marble paste at the same time. So the only things that our fibers won't break through as far as the annual fibers are two minerals, rust and calcium. Now, funny enough, they actually help them to stay away so that they don't come back as fast. So that's pretty cool. Um, but we have a calcium dissolver that's plant-based and that we, we dose by drops. So I would put this, if you're in the bathroom, put it on your bathroom scrub, push it in because it's plant-based, you wanna make sure that it sits on there for a few seconds, up to a few minutes, and then you wanna take your scrub and wash it off. This is great for inside your toilets, um, to clean those as well for everyone with hard hard water you can put a few drops into your toilet take your toilet wand go around clean it uh, flush it down and then you can put a few drops in and let it sit inside your toilet and that's the calcium dissolver also really great for coffee makers and around the calcium on the taps marble paste so the other mineral that our fibers just won't break through but we'll try to keep away is marble is rust <laughs> sorry so our marble paste is made for not only rust it is a hard puck mine's kind of gone down because I use it it's usually flat up here but it's a hard puck so you have to add water to this um, to get it to work um, so I would just take again my bathroom scrub if you're with rust take your scrub push it in there wet and then push it on the rust so that you're removing the rust okay and then continue with your bathroom zone to clean it after i also use marble paste as a stovetop cleaner as an oven cleaner tile and grout cleaner stainless steel appliance cleaner this is really amazing and you can use it just with a wet hand to put onto your stainless steel appliances and then take your kitchen fibers to pull it off and clean it and um, you will be shocked at how clean it it goes um, also on your barbecue if you need an extra um, oomph with your outdoor extreme fibers for shining up chrome if you want to polish silver this is where it's at i actually even use this like gooby gone to take any sticky residue off any mirrors or glass so those are those two um, the last one I've got here, actually second last one, is our dishwasher liquid. So of course when we have dishwashers, we need dishwasher liquid. And this is all plant-based. So I dose this a half a teaspoon to two teaspoons again, right in your soap dispenser. Take a dirty spoon out of your rack, put it on, tap it into your soap dispenser, close it up, shut your door and away it goes. They do suggest that you use a rinse agent just so that you don't get any uh, watermarks on your on your cutlery or anything but this is really great. I also would suggest that you scrape off any animal fats, any egg or any cheese just to make um, your dishwasher not work so hard to get that off and your dishes will not taste like a product anymore. It's really great for your dishwasher. 
The last one I have is Leather and Wood Balm. So Leather and Wood Balm is exactly for what it says, Leather and Wood. It is a beeswax base, actually smells really amazing. And you can put this on with an old rag and onto any leather, onto any wood. And then I would suggest taking your polishing cloth and actually polishing the leather and wood after you apply this. This goes on in a very minimal amount, so you're not using very much. So let's think about not only antique furniture and wood, um, but wooden kitchen cupboards after they're cleaned, shoes, boots, hot tub covers, the leather in your car. Uh, it works as a protectant. I think that's it. So again, we've got our leather and wood balm, marble paste, calcium dissolver, dishwasher liquid, laundry liquid, either in a thousand mils or 300 mils, washing up liquid in a thousand or 300. That's it. That's all the helpers and you'll have. So once you have your zones or your packs of fibers for your bathroom, your living areas, your kitchen, your floors, your windows, and your outdoors, you are really set. You maybe just need a couple extra things to kick out all the other products in your home and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Happy cleaning.